Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, thanks for watching, this time with another uh, Urtyp from uh, northern Germany and um, it's from Schleswig-Holstein, it's from the Dittmarscher Brauerei uh, and it's their Urtyp. Uh, what beer style should you um, call that? It's not that really easy. Maybe like Helles, it's just a 4.9, so I would say it's not as strong as an export. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be as mild as a, a Helles, but um, Urtyp normally is a little bit darker in color comparing to the Helles also, so uh, I guess it's gonna be something in between. Um, and Urtyp, of course, that means the type. Uh, Typ means the type and Ur means uh, yeah, the original, uh, in a way, the thing which other uh, types are coming from. So that's what uh, what it means. Uh, I've had, as I said, one beer from this brew before on the channel. It was the Pilsner, Dittmarscher Pilsner, and it was really, really nice. Uh, so the brewery is coming from the town Marne, located in Schleswig-Holstein, so absolutely most northern part of Germany. Uh, that we're going back to with this one and as you can see it's the small cute bottle uh, shape on this one the one that I think it's right to call the Astra bottle shape because um, Astra is maybe the most uh, famous brewery who's using this little cute bottle shape with their Astra Urtyp for example which will be on the channel in the future um, so uh, it's this one that they're using, they have the same one on the pills um, and you see the, see the beautiful cap also special for this um, for this beer style not only a Dittmarschau cap but a Dittmarschau Urtyp cap uh, and um, yeah, high expectations of it since the Pilsner, Dittmarschau Pilsner was really nice so the second one uh, on the channel from this brewery um, and uh, I think the, the uh, label is looking absolutely fantastic on this one. Uh, also, I would like to say that the, uh, the breweries that's coming from the north of Germany has really been making it to uh, their, their style that they're showing much uh, of the coast and much of the water uh, on their website and on their um, advertisements in on TV and so on. Um, Jevel, Becks, Flensburger, um, Stralsund, all of those breweries and uh, this one too if you visit their website which I will of course link to in the description box below then you see a lot of the coast, the water from the coast and so on so they really seem to be proud of that since um, if you gonna find the coast in Germany you need to go to the very north of course uh, I mean this label has really been catching my interest for a very long time I think it's really really well done and really looks fantastic in every way really really beautiful like a painting uh, it's really really nice don't you think and really well made logo also looks really really great in my opinion simple and really really nice like a beautiful painting in my opinion the house the water, the land, um, and uh, this one also that I don't know the English word for, but I think you know that. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna give you some short information about this brewery, uh, some updated information. The Dittmarscher pri private brewery Karl Hintz is based in Marne, Dittmarschen district in the west coast of Schleswig-Holstein. It is best known for the Dittmarscher Pilsner brewed there. Which, of course, uh, that's no, no um, surprise, since Pilsner is the most loved uh, beer style in Northern Germany. Um, Northern Germany, that's Pils, basically. Uh, in 2009, 180,000 hectoliters of beer were produced. A rural brewery has been on the site since 1775. The brewery itself, itself was founded by Christian Hintz 
1884 and is still family owned today. The company management was given to an external manager in 1990s after the, after the brewery became almost insolvent due to rapid expansion. The brewery maintains an image associated with the landscape and tradition of the region. Hence, the decision, decision to reintroduce the class closure in 1983. The brewery's peers have been received several gold awards for the German, from the German Agricultural Society. Most recently, in the 2013, the Dietmarsche Pilsner. In addition to the beer advertised as um, Beugel Budel beer in an ironing bottle, the brewery now also fills in long neck and Steinif bottles. Okay. Uh, and about this specific one, the uh, Dittmarschau Urtyp, with its fantastic, fantastic uh, label, in my opinion, it's possible to read the following on our website, which I said I will link to, of course, in the description box below. Classic, but not ironed. If you are an archetype at heart, you will be impressed by the strong and tart spicy aroma of your new favorite beer. A really robust matter with seven with twenty nine bitter units. Uh, so, all in all, I have high expectations of this one. The label is one of my favorites that I've seen actually on the channel. Uh, don't you think that it's fantastic in its appearance? Uh, and the label is really making a lot, in my opinion. Um, but. Uh, yeah, finally over to the tasting part. First I'm gonna read through what it says here on the bottle. Privatbrauerei Karl Hinz, Marne in Holstein. Dittmarscher Privatbrauerei Marne. Zutaten, Wasser, Gästemalz, Hopfen, gebraut nach dem deutschen Reinheitsgebot. Alcohol content 4.9% volume beer. Uh, they don't specify what kind of beer it is. It just says beer. Here we see the, the birds, the sky. The beautiful uh, house and the the way up to the house would be nice to live there, just to the to the coast. Really, really nice, fantastic looking. In my opinion, Dietmarsch or Urtyp. I could watch that for a long while. Really looks really nice. But uh, now over to the tasting part of Dietmarsch or Urtyp. And um, it's gonna be really, really great, I think. So, expectations, as I mentioned, of Dietmarscher Urtyp. And let's open this one up. And pour it up. There we go. Um, nice, compact, white foam and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. Very, very yellow, golden color of it. And a white, compact, thick crown. Fantastic appearance, in my opinion. I hope you agree with that. This is how a bear should look like. It's really, really making me want to, to try it. Um, and it's really, really great, uh, the way it looks. And I bet it's gonna be real nice also to try it, of course. So let's get the aroma. Really, really fantastically fresh, of course. Not as mild as hell, it's not as strong hops taste as a pills. It's something in between. It's really, really, um, Shows high quality to me, also high quality that the, the compact white foam head isn't disappearing so fast. You see? Really looking great. So finally, Dittmarscher Urtyp. Prost! This is very 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 great um it i would say it's more more of a pills than a hell's even though um 
I don't think it's a, it's as strong in the aftertaste in the hops uh, character in the aftertaste as the Pilsner is and uh, as the Pilsner from this brewery was. Uh, but during uh, you drink it, it reminds me more of a Pils uh, than uh, than Hellas. So definitely not. I would not put it in the Pils category, but more towards to that comparing to the mild Hellas. All in all, this is very, very, very nice, very well balanced. If you think that the Hellas is too too mild and the Pils is too um, too strong in the hops bitterness and that the export is um, having too high alcohol content which normally is around 5.3 something like that then this one is amazing this is the number one um, you see it's it's fantastic uh, with a still compact white foam and important to build up that and maintain it all the way through uh, keeps the right taste in the glass and the taste of this one is, as I said, amazing. Dittmarsch or Ultyp is actually a must for you to try, in my opinion. It's, um, it's just really, really great. It's perfect beer. It's the way a beer should taste. If I, one should want to like serve just a typical beer and not specify it, this would be it, in my opinion. Actually, to be honest, that's, uh, this one is fantastic. Really, really fresh. Really, really nice to drink. Um, it's just fantastic, in my opinion. And I don't say that if it's not fantastic. So, um, biggest recommendation uh, for you regarding Dietmarsch or Urtyp. It's really nice, and it's gonna be really nice also in my collection of, of bottles. Um, because it has such a fantastic label, in my opinion, like a painting. Um, <clears throat> so, that's the uh, second beer from Dittmarsch on my channel. And it tastes fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So, with that said, I hope you like my reviews. Continue to follow my channel for more interesting beer reviews. From Germany, of course. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you have any opinions about this beer or any other suggestions. And hope I see you again in next German beer review.